Monday, August 28th, 9.21 a.m. in Maui, California. I mean, Maui, Hawaii. My brain <laughs> is dispersed. Uh, 59 uh, dispersion sexuality line. Did I check? I think we're in line six. six yeah. Yep. Line six. Yep. Uh, the one night stand, the tendency based on personality or circumstance to accept only temporary unions that may be otherwise impossible or dangerous to continue. Interesting. The perfected relationship, whether for a moment or an eternity, the power for intimacy, regardless of conditions. Detriment is the basic drive to move on that seeks Im impermanency as a matter of course and not in response to circumstance. Drive for sexual and intimate diversity. I get it. I think it's like a it kind of seems like one of these uh you know, it's just you and me here now and that is that is forever. Um something about that. Um we're in gate 59.6 um Seba and uh yeah, but Luke, maybe you are you you got the I Ching, bro? Can you can you give us yeah, some, some poetry? Yeah, about, about the park. I'll hit you with that poetry. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. I love sure. this line. Six is like, you know, you you'd consider the line six the role model energy to uh to be a role model of it. But I guess the role model of this gate is the one night stand. It is the um the one that's able to accept uh temporary unions uh that would otherwise be impossible or dangerous to continue. So this is the right. power for intimacy, regardless of conditions. So this is the, like, tearing down the walls, regardless of, like, is this going to last forever? And it's like, baby, this is going to last right now. Um, but what do you got, Luke? Good to see you, bro. Exactly. You got some new plugs? I got some new plugs. Had to replace the one nice. that lost the waterfall. Nice. Nice. All right. So nine at the top means he dissolves his blood. Departing, keeping at a distance, going out is without blame. We're in gate 59, right? In the sun? Yep. Yeah, okay. Keep uh, Departing, keeping at a distance, going out is without blame. The idea of the dissolving a man, of a man's blood means the dispersion of that which might lead to bloodshed and wounds. For example, avoidance of danger. But here the thought is not that man avoids difficulties for himself alone, but rather that he rescues his kin helps them to get away before danger comes or to keep at a distance from existing danger or to find a way out of a danger that is already upon them. In this way, he does what is right. Well, this is fucking interesting. <laughs> I'm on my way actually right now to go like just have some alone time, clear my mind. Yeah. Oh, hey, miss, yeah. go to the hot springs. I've been inviting a friend of mine who I feel like is in a level of danger trying to be like come come be with me so we can talk about some shit and like you know maybe i can give you some advice or like get to the point of like why this thing is tearing away deteriorating your life causing dispersion so right. that's interesting but they won't respond to me so i'm like fuck it, i'm gonna go for myself then. damn you straight know? bro damn straight yeah that 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 um theme of danger is like it's really interesting and and because this is like sexuality <laughs> like breaking breaking down barriers and um you know mm -hmm. in some ways like with the context of that like saving family from danger is is kind of interesting um yeah this is this is a foreign this is a foreign one to me i'm not this is this whole this whole time this one has been so uh elusive for me which i'm like yeah. maybe maybe prada has got the like two sentences of magic like he usually does um <laughs> That kind of ties it all together. It's like everyone prepared. Da, da, da. Oh, he stopped typing. Damn it! I gotta not do that. Put the pressure on him too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't respond. To this. Oh man, but yeah, this this is you know that's that's the thing is like some of this stuff comes really naturally to me. Some of these gates, I'm like, oh yeah, cool. And then other times, I'm like, I still don't get it, even though we've gone through, you know, the entire thing. Um, but that's just me. How do you feel about it all, Luke? This one's felt very strange for me too. A little yeah. bit. There's like the days I've tuned in, I'm like, whoa, okay, here we are again. The transit's feeling super accurate for what's going on. But right. I don't have gate 59 or 55. So it does feel like a little just like 
I don't know what's going on. Like these ones feel pretty, pretty weird. I'd probably say when I hear dispersion and right. sexuality, same sentence, I think of fish releasing eggs and sperm. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Dispersion is like the, the creation of, or like the act of possibly creating life, a lot of fertility. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Well, let's go to game 55, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, let's go back to the judgment. What's going on here? <laughs> what actually? Yeah, could you could you could you re- read reread the judgment? Actually, I'm I'm curious. Like, why? One of the things that's coming up right now is like sexuality has been so um, perverted in society, right? Either hyper extreme or hyper uh, taboo, and maybe that's one of the reasons why. Like, there's just still so much conditioning in that. Um, in that societal layer and for me you know obviously I, I grew up with so much of that inside me so maybe that's that's what i'm experiencing is that was like one of the main areas if you could attack this and destroy this in humanity then they're easier to control something like right. that well let's but anyway see, let's see yeah hit the judgment the, the judgment limitation success Galling limitation must not be persevered in. Limitations are troublesome, but they are effective. If we live economically in normal times, we are prepared for times of want. To be sparing saves us from humiliation. Limitations are also indispensable in the regulation of world conditions. In nature, there are fixed limits for summer and winter, day and night, and these limits give the year its meaning. In the same way, economy, by setting fixed limits upon expenditures, acts to preserve property and prevent injury to the people. But in limitation, we must observe due measure. If a man should seek to impose galling limitations upon his own nature, it would be injurious. And if he should go too far in imposing limitations on others, they would rebel. Therefore, it is necessary to set limits even upon limitations. So it's like limiting limitation. It could be helpful to read six six to understand fifty five six two fifty nine six. I I guess that that kind of has contextualize it in terms of sexuality, at least. Like in the uh, yeah, yeah, it's like just making my brain fart so much. <laughs> All that web design you've been doing for T and J. I know, dude. I know. I'm like, uh, let's be no, okay. Dude. Let me read. I'm gonna go with with Prana's advice here to read six point six to help us with fifty nine point six. How about that? Let's do that. Let's see, what we got. Let's see if the, okay. So six point six nine at the top means even if by chance a leather belt is bestowed on one. By the end of a morning, it will have been snatched away three times. Here we have someone who has carried a conflict to the bitter end and has triumphed. He is granted a decoration, but his happiness does not last. He is attacked again and again, and the result is conflict without end. Well, now I'm just even more confused. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking poetry is breaking my brain. I mean, but that's that's maybe that's what's happening. Is just like in our confusion of it all together, we're we're uh, we we feel more intimate. Uh, he said, uh, does anyone, Mark, I'm like, say? "That's what I'm." Oh, okay, got it, got it. Six point six in the rave I Ching is the peacemaker. So it's uh, the discipline and integrity of a superior force to unilaterally cease conflict to permit surrender and survival of its foe. Uh, Exaltation is the highest form of reason, is that life is sacred, the emotional power to end conflict, tempered by feelings and sensitivity to others. Detriment is the peacemaker whose actions are just, but whose terms are unacceptable. The emotional power to end conflict, but only after one's own conditions have been satisfied. Mm. 
intentionally enlightened or I'm gonna read what this says here. This is surely one of the most confusing. Yes, it's definitely the one most confused. All right. It can be read surely... in resonance. Go ahead. Read it. No, right. you read it. This is surely one of the most confusing six line in the whole rave eaching. It can be read in resonance to the spirit of the 55.6, which is about the potentiality enlightened or deep in, deeply disempowering selfishness with which human beings represent themselves in bonds. It can also be read through its harmonic resonance to the 6.6, the peacemaker, and an extension to the 36.6, justice. Now, when peace depends on a gate that builds upon the sexual frustration of the sacral, you know that something steep stinks deeply of hypocrisy. After all, the 59.6 is the WA channel for human interaction. Then again, it does help understand why the 36.6 so deeply desires, deserves its name, in the sense that when union depends on the denial of the individual spirit, it can only fuel agony and misery, and then meeting the challenge of justice that forces each of us to meet and deal with our own pain and misery is simply unavoidable. No choice. Oh, okay. That I guess that kind of helps. In the sense of like, in order to break down barriers or to have intimacy, there's part of me that has to like, let go of my own differentiation, let go of the things that make me unique so that we can then become homogenous. It's like a conscious choice of homogenization, or rather, it's it's the um, reality of, of homogenization for the sake of union, that ultimately there's that I talk about this a lot about people like losing themselves in relationships. Um, mm. And how you don't want to do that but yeah. in a way it's like the only way to experience that love and that bonding and that mating is to do that in a way which is a very cool yeah. like mind fuck i like this um let's yeah. read, let, in resonance with what like is going on for me right now it's just this is my first time back in albuquerque not being lost in a relationship oh yeah actually like being like oh have so much freedom to do all these things like i practice so much kung fu and like hung out with all my friends and now i'm going to the hot springs by myself i'm like this is this is tight this is just what life on maui's like you know it's like rewriting That's the story up here i love that for you man i love that and i'm yeah. so excited to have you back okay i can't wait gate 55 abundance spirit line six is selfishness acquisition obsession that through alienating is indirectly beneficial materially to others the possibility of finding the spirit through materialism detriment where the material abundance exists but no one gets to share its light the no moon phase the possibility where materialism becomes obsessed with a man's spirit that will not share i mean that's pretty simple it's just like if you got it you gotta share it yeah share the abundance do your tithing make sure take care of your people Exactly, exactly. Huh. All right. Well, you got you read the read the I Ching and then I'm gonna hop off because I wanna like do a little meditation before me and Meat Suit dive in. Yes, Meat Suit. <laughs> uh six at the top yeah. means his house is in a state of abundance. Greens off his family, he peers through the gate and no longer perceives anyone. For three years he sees nothing, misfortune. This describes a man who, because of his arrogance and obstinacy, attains the opposite of what he strives for. He seeks abundance and splendor for his dwelling. He wishes at all odds to be master in his house, which so alienates his family that in the end he finds himself completely isolated. So yeah, it sounds a lot like the detriment of getting and getting in this abundance and then just being like look at all the things i have and not spending enough time with the family it's like what i'm getting from that yeah like so protecting like, and providing but not being present yep the three p's baby presence protection and provide p p p p p that was four anyway possibility is the perfect relationship possible oh that's that's kind of really interesting Peace. Thanks for that life force. That actually kind of glued it all together because, like, mm -hmm. right? Like seeking the perfect relationship in the physical realm is is 
is always going to end uh, or is, is, is never going to be achieved ultimately because this is not a realm of perfection. This is a realm of accepting imperfection and accepting form. And so uh, that yeah. makes that's a that's a good point right there. And so it's like six being the one that's like striving kind of for that perfection. And then uh, 59 being the one that is um, willing to uh, sacrifice one's self and let down their own barriers and tear down their own walls to achieve that. Yeah. Ah, okay, it's starting to come together now, slowly. It feels like, like little slugs that are just like reach slowly inching towards each other. Uh, but bring out a poop. <laughs> bring out a poop. Still, fifty nine point six is taking auditions for the perfect soulmate. Yes, exactly. That makes a lot more sense. Yes, I am. I mean, what? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. Well, I think that about does it for me. Emmy just texted me. She says she's got some little breakfast for me, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna uh, <laughs> meditate, and then me and meat suit lessons are gonna go in. Woo! I'm so excited nice. for this. This has been like Hell a yeah. couple weeks in the building. So, well, thanks for tuning in, Luke. I love you, bro. Uh, love everyone, you thank you for for tuning in. This is the last um, last transit transmission for this uh, gate. So tomorrow we'll be in in some new transits. So make your last goodbyes to the confusing sexuality and abundance of this past <laughs> week. <laughs> Well, hello, guys. Aloha. Uh, love you. Tell the family I say bye.